Good afternoon, everyone. I was going to say good morning, but it's good afternoon. I can't believe it's 20 to 2. I've been trying to do a video virtually the whole day, and um, I've managed to get the one up about Doreen Virtue. Um, but I've got a lot to say, and uh, the internet is playing up here big time today. It's just not, it's not working. So I've gone back to my trusted old camera, and uh, we're going to have a chat about a few things. I'd like to have a look at Robert Mueller, uh, who is conducting the investigation into whether there was Russian interference in the USA election of 2016. <gasps> Try and say that without taking a breath. Um, and But before I do that, before we get into all of that, I'm going to pretend we're having a live, okay? <laughs> Because again, I tried this morning. I don't know what is going on. I just, it's its not happening, guys. its I'm doing my best, but I'm having real problems with um, syncing it all. It's all out of sync. So for whatever reason, maybe Metatron is just saying, for now, just carry on doing it this way. Um, maybe it's something to do with divine timing. I don't know. Um, but... Yeah, let's just assume we're, we're live. And um, my video, the Doreen Virtue video, went live about an hour ago. So I'm just going to have a look at a couple of comments <clears throat> and see if there's anything um, to talk about there. Thank you for all your comments and your likes, by the way. I always forget to say that at the start of my videos. I must admit, I think it's terribly boring when you, um, when you go onto somebody's channel and every time they just talk about, you know, please like, subscribe, share... I'll just sort of think, you know, if, you, if you're going to like it, you're going to press like. And if you don't like it, you're going to switch off. So uh, I'm a bit sort of laissez-faire with all that. Um, OK, here's a nice comment in. <clears throat> so this is relation to Drawing Virtue video I've just posted up. I have also put up links to the other two Doreen Virtue videos that I've done. Because I've now done three. And, and then that's it, guys. I really don't want to talk about it anymore because I think it's all been said. Um, in those three videos so but I am here for support and love for anybody that needs that but I, I can't believe that I'm going to have to make another another video on that subject um, but here's a comment in from Hilda Van Ash and she says don't give the power to anyone you are your proper master living from the heart there are the answers sometimes we just need the helping hand of somebody but stay true to yourself, to what's resonating with you. Completely agree with that. Um, <laughs> Bo Axel Nielsen, you make me laugh. I don't know if you're a male or a, a female, can't tell from your photograph, and you just say we are in big doo-doo. <laughs> You've got to keep your sense of humour at these times, you really have. Um, and here's one from Terry. Great message, Amanda. I'm so glad you did this because a couple of days ago she came to mind and I was wondering why. I don't follow her at all on social media and I didn't know why I was thinking of her. I think some of the reason that her message is so disturbing to some of us here in the USA is that it gives ammunition to those that already think that we're doing the devil's work as if it's not exhausting enough as it is. I was just asking my guides if she had lost her mind saying these things, and I heard she's lost herself. Oh, that's sad, and it's probably very true. I guess we need to flood some love and light her way. Thanks for being the voice of reason. I completely agree with what you just said there, Terry. I believe we should be sending um, love her, her way. Not in a condescending way that, as I say, we know better, but just, um, as I said in the video that I've just uploaded, you're not at peace if you're continuously needing to bash other people's beliefs and faiths. Let's just have one more. Um, Just trying to find one that's, that's quite, um, oh God, screen's, my screen's about to die now. Um, I just had to read her list, the A to Z list. Maybe it would be kinder if she simply posted her own personal experiences with God 
and not all of the negative slander towards others and their personal path. It's as if she is fearful of her own path and past, her own past, yeah. Okay, right, let's close that up. And uh, enough said on that subject, although keep the comments coming. Thank you very much. I've kept the uh, comments open on that one. Um, but if we get attacked by uh, the fundamentalists, I will, uh, I'll put it onto an approved mode because we can do without that. Okay, um, let's have a look at then Robert Muller. Muller, is that how you say his name? Quite interesting. I know, I, I said on my Facebook page yesterday, I know nothing about this guy. Uh, I have just had a little look this morning on Wikipedia and I can see that he's, his middle name is Swan. I find that quite interesting. Robert Swan Mueller. And um, I believe he's a Republican, but he has to be bipartisan in his investigation and indeed his job. And I believe he is. Um, I have not been keeping up with the investigation at all. Um, I am not turning on any of the news every day and trying to keep abreast of American politics. Can't even keep abreast of UK politics. I mean, come on. So, um, you know, I'm coming at this completely with no agenda whatsoever. Uh, I am just, in what intrigued me about him was, his name just came up at the weekend. I've obviously heard of his name. I know who he is. But it's like Metatron, just like a like little spotlight went on. It's like, have a little look at him. So I went and had a look at his birth date. And that's what intrigued me because he was born on the 7th of August, 1944. And if you add up all the digits of his birth date, you get to the fact that he's a 33 master number energy. And, um, you know, they're not rare in terms of like, there's hardly anybody on the planet with a 33 master number energy. I'm not saying that. But I am saying that they, um, they're not as frequent as um, other numbers, okay? So I, years ago, I used to run numero numerology workshops and we used to look at people, well, you know, the normal one, two, um, I'm, I'm a number eight, for example. So we'd look at number eight life path, all of them. And then we'd look at the master numbers, 11, 22, 33. And 33, I'm going from memory here, so I might be completely wrong. I think John Lennon was a 33. I think Bob Geldof might be a 33. Beyond that, I'm like, oh, I need to look back into my files. But they were quite interesting characters, the people that had a 33 numerology vibration. Now, you can easily just go to Google and type in 33 master number meaning and you'll get a whole load of information come up okay so there's no point in me repeating all that the one couple of words though that i would associate with the 33 energy which i think is important right now and the one that really was flashing big time for me is that it's linked into somebody who is a humanitarian a humanitarian um and all master numbers if you have a master number in your um, linked to your soul energy. What it effectively means is that you're born with potential. We all, of course, have potential, but the master number energy has great potential. It doesn't mean necessarily that it's going to be realized in this lifetime because it's up to the individual. So all it will show is potential, okay? Whether that potential is realized or not is a different matter. Now, I just more from curiosity perspective, to be honest, I thought it'd be really interesting to look at him because I don't know much about him. So I've printed off this photograph of him from internet, uh, internet, from the internet. This is actually taken from Time magazine. And I will just say something because when I show photographs of people, because I've done um, videos like this on Obama, Clinton, uh, Trump, uh, quite a few of them basically, Macron, done one on Jeremy Corbyn by the way look back onto my um, uh, YouTube channel if you're wanting to know about Jeremy Corbyn in the UK at the moment it was, admittedly it was maybe six months ago but still probably quite relevant um, the photographs that I choose they're not completely random I'm trying to basically get a likeness of the person but like anything um, I'm already tuning into their energy 
before I even choose the photograph. It's almost as though the energy that I've got sitting here with me now and the energy that was with me when I started to bring his energy in around me on Saturday, this is a good match to it, okay? So um, that's why I, yeah, you see straight away, because Metatron straight away, he's saying to me, yeah, it's black or white with this guy, okay? It's black or white. Um, and by that, what Metatron is saying is, he's not going to fudge the issue. What is the issue? The issue effectively is, was there Russia, Russian collusion um, in the 2016 campaign that resulted in Donald Trump becoming president? Now, where that takes us, or America as a world, is a whole other matter, because it could take the country into many different areas linked into Donald Trump. But right now, I just felt I was being called to look at this man, okay, Robert Mueller. And because so much is going to be centered on what he finds, and then it's like, findings are really only as good as the source energy that goes to try and retrieve them. So I wanted to go back to him as the source, the person that is looking through material, interviewing, getting other people to work for him, bringing him the data, shuffling through it, coming to some sort of black or white conclusion. I don't believe that um, a, a report findings by this man after however many months it would be, or however many weeks it would be, would just produce more questions than it asked in the first place. I feel as though he's very committed to knowing, giving an answer. It's, I mean, he used to work for the, um, well not work for, he was the director of the FBI. Was he the head of the FBI? As I say, I don't know much about him, but very senior, prominent man anyway, and very esteemed, very respected in his country. Um, I believe he served for his country as well. Saw that on Wikipedia this morning. Um, but certainly, and whether you would class him, I don't even know if he is, a, I don't even know if he's a politician. I, I just know he's doing this investigation. But the point is, in the UK, as an example, probably true of many other countries around the world, if you ask a politician an a, a straight yes, no answer, you won't ever get it. I feel you'll get it with this guy. Okay, so um, piercing eyes. He's got piercing eyes. He's, he's got a very kind face. You know, I'm just gonna go on his general energy of what I'm picking up now, okay? I feel like he's got a very, very kind face. Look at that. That's, and I, you know, I was thinking, who does he remind me of physically? Who, he was really reminding me of somebody. And who he reminds me of facially, this might have nothing to do with the guy's energy or anything to do with him at all. Just wanna make sure I've got, I've got the right name. Hold on, let me just Google this person before I say the wrong thing. Uh, I think it's John, John Kerry. Yeah, John Kerry facially uh, reminds me of, um, of this man. So I don't know why I'm even saying that, but um, maybe my American uh, friends can illuminate. John Kerry and this guy. But anyway, let's just look at Robert here. So he's a master number 33. I keep being drawn to the fact he's got swan in his name. A swan, you see, appears very graceful on the outside. I would imagine that you don't ever see this guy flapping, okay? He's not a flapper. He is cool, he is calm, he is collected. He's a bit like a James Bond type character. You know, he's that very cool. But what the swan does is the swan is paddling <clears throat> very, very fast beneath the surface of the water, but you don't see any of that. All you see is the, is the creature that glides and continues to make pro progress. Whereas actually, <clears throat> excuse me, underneath it all, it's working like a dog, okay? So um, there's also something about the swan for me anyway, what I'm picking up here, being linked to loyalty. Um, swans, of course, mate for life, don't they? So if you, um, it's very sad if you see a swan on its own, 
I mean long term on its own um, because they, they don't re they don't find another partner they mate for life so there's something about loyalty with this man and what I'm hearing straight away is the what he is loyal to can you hear it those of you that are clairvoyant and I know a lot of people get the information before I say it he's loyal to his country that's what he's loyal to he's loyal to the flag so um, <clears throat> He is working or he's doing this on behalf of the Trump administration at the moment. Um, but he is loyal to the flag. He's, a lo he's loyal to, I'm hearing he's loyal to the motherland. Interesting that motherland is a term that sometimes is used for Russia as well. But that doesn't mean that he's working for the Russians, guys. It just means that the Russians themselves, I always feel, um, have a real love for their country, you know, the motherland. Putin, whatever you feel about Putin, has an absolute love for his motherland, for, for Mother Russia. And this guy has a love for uh, Mother USA. Although it feels like it's Father USA. Anyway, let's pull some cards on him. So, let's see if I can pull my camera back. I don't think I can, no. I'm using the After Tarot deck. And let's just see want to think about the questions I'm going to ask here. Can I just see the energy around him at the moment please? What is the energy like around Robert Mueller at the moment? If I'm saying his name wrong, apologies. What is the energy like around Mueller? What is the energy like right now around Mueller? Three cards. One. What is the energy like around Muller? Three cards. Two. One more. What is the energy like around... No. What is the... Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. No. Oh. Did you see that? It's just flown out of the deck. The King of Pentacles has just flown out of the deck. Right. The other three cards. This, this is the energy of the man that we've around him at the moment. Nice, high priestess. King of Pentacles. And the Six of Wands. <clears throat> to me, the Six of Wands is the card of victory and I'm hearing he's on the home straight. He's on the home straight. He's already been crowned with the uh, crown of laurel leaves. He's riding in victorious. The High Priestess, this is a man that's linked to spirit. This is a man who spirit is working through. And let me explain that. Spiritually, when we make a request or we say a prayer and we don't actually know what the best answer is in any scenario, what I always say is, Dear God, please just let this work out for the highest good, the highest outcome for all concerned. And that's almost what we've got here. Because to get to that place where it's like, please let this investigation find whatever it needs to find or not for the highest good and the highest outcome of the country and for that to happen and that outcome to be materialized you have to be linked not into ego but into heart and soul and your connection to spirit i feel as though he is being um, directed by spirit i don't know anything about his faith i'm assuming he's quite a religious man uh, I don't know whether that's accurate or not, whether it's in a traditional sense in terms of being a churchgoer or whether he's just got something that's quite individual and private to him. I think that even if he's um, somebody that, you know, goes to church and you see him there every Sunday, I still feel as though there's a side to him that is very private and I feel as though you may never see this aspect to him, but it's as though he has a very... Um, sacred and I want to say personal relationship 
with the divine, whatever the divine means to him, okay? Whether he's a Christian, a Buddhist or anything else. Um, he, he may well sit in the church pews, but he still has some sort of very personal connection. Um, there's something very private about this man. There's something very um, dignified about him as well. I'm picking up dignity. Dignity is very important. Um, but anyway, let's go back to the cards for one moment. Uh, so the high priestess is the spiritual connect connection. Um, I'm also feeling this is linked into the linked into heart energy. Uh, he, 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 he must be shrewd to have been picked in the first place to have uh, been, you know, uh, the director, the sixth director of the FBI. Um, he's no fool, you know, he must be very sharp analytically. But I still feel as though there is this um, awakened consciousness within him, which is nice to see. The King of Pentacles is who he is at the moment. Uh, the King of Pentacles is somebody who is very steady um, who makes steady progress, some could even say slow progress, but it's almost like an energy of Saturn. It's like a Saturn planetary energy. It's like, I will make sure I do this job to the best of my ability. I won't divulge what I found until every last stone has been unturned. And then, and only then, at the right time, and in the right way, and in the right place, for the highest good, will I um, announce what has been found? And I'm doing so from a place of um, real strength. I mean, look at that. I've never really noticed before, but on this card, the King of Pentacles, it's got a bull. And of course, there's that expression, a bull in a china shop, which is the complete opposite of what this man is. He's the complete opposite of somebody who just goes charging in um, without any thought or intention or focus. Here, the king, him, has managed to, to tame the bull. Okay, the bull is tamed. Uh, the bull is actually uh, almost like at his feet in, um, in service to him. Um, he's patting the bull. He's patting the bull. You know, he, he's, he's, um, he's mastered this animal that could just be charging off you know, creating havoc otherwise. And, and I feel here the animal, the bull, represents almost the investigation because placed in the wrong hands and the results of which delivered in the wrong way and at the wrong time and in the wrong place could create complete chaos and social breakdown. He's not going to do that, okay? He's going to be very measured in how... He already has been measured in how he's been progressing the investigation, but equally, when it gets delivered, he will be measured as well. And I can't help but feel, I'm looking here now at the King of Pentacles, he's looking down at the ground. I feel as though maybe part of what he's finding or will find, it's almost like he's got a bit of a heavy heart, as though there are aspects to him that he doesn't really want to believe are true, maybe, or that he knows isn't going to be very easy for some people to swallow. Feels as though there's a huge weight of responsibility on his shoulders, but he is riding into victory. And again, there is just this feminine energy here. So whether this is his wife, whether this is just people, it might be there's a, a couple of women in particular who are involved in the investigation, who are very um, supportive and who are very key as well, because um, it feels as though there is feminine energy around him, um, which is helping him at this time. Okay, let's just go back to his photograph for one minute. I, I, I personally, I really like his energy. Um, I really like his energy. Now I'm going to use the Archangel Zadkiel spray at this point because Zadkiel is um, it's like a violet flame type energy and in a way what he's trying to do here is he's trying to get to the bottom, he's trying to search for the truth so Zadkiel will just help us here as well. 
Uh, let's pull some other cards now. Um, let me just think about what I want to ask. <clears throat> Where is the investigation ultimately going to lead? <clears throat> Where is this investigation ultimately going to lead? Let's keep it very open-ended. Where is this investigation ultimately going to lead? It's a funny old analogy to be shown, but I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm seeing somebody like scrubbing a toilet. Sorry, it's a bit of a horrible analogy. Scrubbing a toilet and it's like they're not going to step away from the job <laughs> God. until that toilet is sparkling clean, okay? It's like, and if you think about what a toilet is for, that's a bit, it's a bit gross, but it's like this guy's prepared to wade into the muck, <clears throat> okay? He's prepared to wade into the muck and look at every last bit of it, whatever the hell that means. And he won't leave until it's clean. Okay, it's a clean up operation I'm hearing. Where's this ultimately gonna lead? Where is this ultimately leading? Metatron and Sankiel. Robert Mueller investigation, where is this ultimately leading? Robert Mueller investigation, where is this ultimately leading? Just going to choose four cards or select four cards. Where is this ultimately leading? Okay, there's one just falling out again. That's two just falling out again. I don't know if I've got the definitive answer yet. Let's just go with what the what energies are coming up for us to look at. I feel this is Trump. Trump is the emperor. Um, he's sitting on his throne. Some of you aren't going to like this next comment I'm going to make, but I'm going to have to say it because I'm sorry. I just have to say what I get. We just had the analogy of the toilet. The throne is another word for toilet in our in the UK, it's like slang. Sitting on the throne means sitting on the toilet. Sorry, but you know, so it's like, if Trump is linked to something that needs to be cleaned up, the King of Pentacles is onto it. And I just wanna look at these two men. So we've got Mueller having tamed the bull. If this is Trump here as the emperor, he's got a ram at his feet, a ram. Um, the ram is reminding me of the astrological sign of Aries. So that takes us into the month of April. I think I'm right in saying that. Um, so it feels as though April is a key month linked to Trump for some reason. As though something comes back to... Spit it out, Amanda. Something comes back to haunt him <clears throat> by April, potentially. Aries, the Ram. Something's at his feet that he can no longer ignore. Does he then choose to just simply step over it? Or deal with it, look at it, heal it? But I didn't ask particularly about Trump with these cards, but I do feel that's him as the emperor. And I feel that Mueller is the king of pentacles and I feel that in this reading Trump is the emperor. Okay, so the other cards that we pulled, which were more just about the investigation and where it's heading, is either side of the emperor, let's put it this way, we've got the nine of pentacles and the three of pentacles. So they're both cards linked into money. 
um, money that's been harvested as well as hard work the creation of something the three of pentacles the master craftsman we've got the five of wands and the world card as well Hmm. Okay. I'm being told that the world card here has a different meaning tradition from what traditionally you might expect it to mean within the tarot. Here, it feels as though the investigation leads to the rest of the world. And I was wondering if this was going to come up. And what I mean by that is that I feel that some of the findings that might be uncovered in this investigation, remember this isn't just, this is about Russian involvement within the 2016 election. I feel this also uncovers potentially Russian involvement or collusion or interference with other countries as well and I felt for a long time that and I've said this uh, that the UK and the USA it feels as though there is linkage here um, some people I know online talk about the Brexit vote as an example uh, Russian interference with that potentially only potentially it hasn't been proven in the same way that it hasn't been proven that there's been Russian interference in the American election. But I do just wonder as though this is also a card that's saying, look to the wider world. This isn't just about what happened in America in 2016. It's wider than that. It's wider than that. It involves the whole world. Um, and for the first time really ever, I'm just noticing here again, I suppose it's blink, blinking obvious now really, but I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, look at the woman here. You know, if, if, the, if the new world order is about the feminine energy, the divine feminine energy, she wants to be free, but maybe has been held back by something. A strong smell of burning here in my house. It's nothing's on fire. I just feel it's there is a candle alight here, but that's not making the smell. Got a little candle here. I'm smelling burning around me. We're not on fire, are we? No, we're not on fire. So this is spirit. It's a message from spirit. I've got the, um, I've got that saying, Rome, what is the expression? Rome fiddled while, Rome burnt while near, what was it? Let me look it up. You know the, you know the expression? Um, Nero, was it Nero? Nero, was it Nero fiddled whilst Rome burned? That's the expression I've got in my head. So it says, um, I'm sorry, I, I'm not meaning to offend people who, who love Trump here either, but I'm just going to have to say what comes through in this. According to a well-known expression, Rome's emperor at the time, the decadent and unpopular Nero, fiddled while Rome burned. The expression has a double meaning. Not only did Nero play music while his people suffered, but he was an ineffectual leader in a time of crisis. Um... He was supposed to have played the fiddle, fi fiddle that, while Rome burned during the Great Fire in AD 64. It says, for six days and seven nights, the citizens of ancient Rome watched helplessly as their city burned. Wow, okay. I'm just gonna leave it there for the moment. I'm not sure, well, you could take that in many different ways. 
Let's just leave that open to interpretation, I think. I'm going to pull a card here from the Moonology deck. It's quite an interesting deck, this, because um, it looks at different phases of the moon. And I'm wanting to just ask, where is this investigation? If this were a cycle of the moon, where would we be at the moment? Please, Metatron. Moolah investigation. If we have an analogy with the moon, which cycle are we in? Where are we? The Muller investigation. The Muller investigation. Where are we at? There. No, not there. This one. New moon in Virgo. A time to give rather than take. Okay. And then we've got emotions are running high, super moon. We've just had the super moon. A time to give rather than take. I've always wondered with uh, Donald Trump, I've said repeatedly on any video that I've ever done where I've looked into his future, I, I felt that there is a, a strong possibility that at some point he might walk away from it. Um, and I wonder whether this may be doing a deal, cutting a deal, a time to give rather than take, a time to compromise rather than take. Not sure. Let's, let's ask the cards about Trump here in relation to this investigation. Let's put these cards to one side. Let's keep the Emperor out, because I'm sure the Emperor is Trump here. <clears throat> and let's ask for some cards. So Donald Trump linked to this investigation what can we know let's just ask what can we know what are you allowed to tell us at this time archangel metatron archangel zadkiel what can we know at this time donald trump linked into the Mueller investigation what can we know at this time please what can we know at this time okay that's just flicked flipped up judgment and money again and bottom of the pack is also money seems to be a lot of money 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 around this um gosh got a lot of pentacle cards out um follow the money judgment final judgment money it's all about money it all links to money Is this deals with money? You know, shady dealing with money? Is it being given money? Is it being blackmailed with money? Is it being promised something with money? It's money. But there's judgment linked to it. And I can't help but say again, look at that, it's a St. George's flag. St. George, that's the St. George's flag, the red and white flag. That's the flag of England. I feel as though the fates of what's going on in America and the UK somehow are linked. Doesn't mean it plays out the same way. Doesn't mean as though exactly the same thing happened. But there are parallels, huge parallels. Skeletons coming out of the closet. Look at that. We asked this about Trump. Skeletons coming out of the, tr the closet. Things that thought were buried forever, coming back to life. It's like that Michael Jackson video, Thriller, you know, where the zombies come out of the graves and come back to life. And somehow it links to money. This is shady dealings with money. Let's pull three cards on Putin. Three cards on Putin. So I wonder if I need another deck because um, it's interesting if you get the same, because I've got quite a lot of the cards already out from this particular tarot deck. 
Let's pull another one. Uh, and then we've got two, two tarot decks on the table. This is the Japanese tarot. Just give them a quick shuffle. Hold on a minute, let's just ask about Putin. I have done um, a video before on Vladimir Putin, but I've never looked at his energy in relation to what is being suggested here. Uh, and also with regard to this Robert Mueller probe. So we'd just like to see the energy around Putin. Please, Archangel Metatron and Archangel Zadkiel. Let's just give them a zap of Zadkiel, asking for truth. Putin. One more shuffle. Putin. So, Robert Mueller, investigation. Show me where Putin figures. One card just fallen out, and then um, there's three that fell out. I'm not sure whether they're relevant, but I'm going to put them anyway. We've got the card of patience, the four of tides, and the magician. I'm not, I'm not feeling them hugely though, so let's just ask for four other cards. Putin, I won't ignore those three, but let's just see. Putin, with regard to this Robert Mueller investigation. Where is he in all this? Putin. Did Putin have a hand in it? Did Pu what did Putin interfere? Did Putin interfere? Did Putin interfere? Two of gardens. Did Putin interfere? Let's have two more cards, please. Did Putin interfere? Did Putin interfere? Sorry, the camera just died, so I'm going to shuffle again. I, I had got the Two of Gardens and the Stranger of Fire so far um, out for Putin. So we're just asking Metatron and Zadkiel. One more card, please, linked into Putin. Did Putin interfere in the 2016 election in America? Did Putin somehow interfere in the 2016 election? in America. Did Putin somehow interfere in the 2016 election? Six of fire. Gut feel? Yes. Playing to somebody else's song, is that what that card says to me? Oh, playing a fiddle. What was I just saying about Nero? Played a fiddle whilst Rome burnt. Ooh, don't like that. Here we've got somebody playing a fiddle. Don't like the energy of this at all. What I'm feeling here. Stranger of fire. And the six of fire. And the two of gardens. Two of gardens is the two of um, uh, pentacles, which is all about choices. Stranger of Fire. I'm just intuitively going what I'm picking up with the card here. To me, that feels like Stranger in Another Land. Was that a film? Is that a film with Donald Sutherland? <laughs> Stranger in Another Land. It's like the red mist over the sea. The red 
energy linked into Russia. I'm wanting to say communism. Traveling overseas. with a false face. This is linked into Nero playing the fiddle whilst Rome burnt. Two of gardens. Ah, two of gardens feels as though I'll keep entertaining you, juggling my balls in the air, and then you won't notice what's going on. Just keep watching the balls in the air. Keep watching the balls in the air. Keep watching the keep watching the story, then you won't actually see the real story underneath. That's what I'm picking up. And then these other three cards that flew out at the start when I was just linking into the Putin energy. Patience, playing the long game, the magician has all the tools that are needed to manifest what is required. Four of Tides. I'll just say what I've got, I've got in my head. I've, I've got these as like two little secret assassins. It's a bit like a, it's again, it's a bit like a bloody James Bond movie. That's what it feels like. It feels like I'm in the middle of a bloody James Bond movie. God's sake. There is a James Bond movie where, I don't know, the baddies, they like, they creep out in a boat. I don't like using the word baddies and goodies, you know. We're all divine beings. We should all be above all this crap. This makes me angry, seeing this type of stuff. Well, thank God we've got this guy. He's going to get to the bottom of this. And it should make us angry, actually. I'm not an anti-Putin person either, by the way. If you listen back onto the video I did on him, I'm pretty, pretty fair and balanced, as I try to be with everybody. I seem to remember he came out quite well in that one. But I don't like, I don't like this energy. I don't like this energy. It's on the bottom of the deck. The King of Tides. Yeah, you see, that's the face you see to the world, but... How does Putin view Trump? That'd be an interesting question. How does Putin view Trump? How does Putin view Trump? I'm picking up that Putin quite is quite sort of secretly enjoying the game being played out. I asked the question, how does Putin view Trump? That's the card. On your way. It's the energy I've got here. On your way. I'm also feeling that in this card, if that's Trump walking away, you can't actually see his face. So there could be a lot of strength the other side. You can't see it at the moment, it's concealed. Let's pull one from the other deck. How does Putin view Trump? Eight of Tides. Yeah, on your way. Oh God, I'm sorry. I know this video is gonna trigger a lot of people. I just, I have to say what I get given. I'm, I'm seeing him, he's like he's on his way back now. This is Trump on his way back, moving back towards from whence he came. He's on the return journey is what I hear.
How does Putin view Trump, Metatron? How does Putin view Trump? Please give me one card. How does Putin view one Trump? How does Putin view Trump? That one. Page of Swords. And then we've got the um, Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. And we've got Justice. And we've got Death. Those, those cards are on the bottom. I want to pull all those as well. I don't want to believe it. I find it hard to believe it, but I'm just reading what I've got here. It feels as though he went in, he, he did, I, I feel like he was in an allegiance with um, Putin in some way. I know some of you are gonna hate me for saying that, but that's what I'm feeling. The Page of Swords, the one who comes in to deliver something, who wins a battle, but with quite a high price and then returns back home. So there's like a pointy building here in the um, far distance. Can you see that pointy building? Reminds me of something you might see in the Kremlin. Can you see that? Not the Kremlin, you know, when you, the, the, all the beautiful buildings in, that you see on the news, whether it's Moscow or St. Petersburg. Oh dear. And then we've got justice and we've got death. Death is just the end. It's not physical death necessarily. I don't think it's physical death. What a mess. I understand the analogy now of the toilet. <laughs> Cleaning up all this mess. Is he going to be able to deliver it? Muller, is he going to be able to deliver? Muller, is he going to be able to deliver? Muller, is he going to be able to deliver? <laughs> I'm even being drawn to his nose here, you know? There's nothing wrong with this guy's nose, but it's like I'm, I'm hearing he's gonna, he can sniff out, um, he's gonna sniff out every last bit of uh, lies, deceit, from whence they came and whoever they came. No hiding place with this guy. He's absolutely gonna deliver it. Yeah. Look at that. Six of cups and the 10 of cups. He's going to return the USA back to an energy which is more linked into, this to me is the card of the family, it's unity but it is going to come at a high price. There's going to be a lot of, um, there's going to be a lot of upset. There's going to be upset. Um, and there will be an ending. Two of swords, there is an ending. Whether that's of Trump, whether that is, I'm almost, I'm, do you know, I'm, I'm also seeing this, the X, you know, when you go into a voting booth and you say whether you're voting for Republican, Democrat, Conservative, Labour, Liberal, whatever country you're in, you place an X, don't you, in the ballot box on the piece of paper. It's like I'm seeing it being tainted somehow. That's what I'm seeing there. That X is the X in the ballot box. And the people represented by the woman here who's totally blindfolded, who hasn't been able to see what's been going on right in front of her eyes. But you know, I'm wanting to take this almost away from the characters that we've got here that we're playing with in terms of Putin and um, Trump, because to be honest, this, this, could, this could be probably other leaders that we've already had as a magpie pops onto the, literally out there outside my window, black and white, yeah, thank you, Metatron. It's been right in front of our eyes the whole time. There's been these, these games have been going on the whole time in front of our eyes in terms of the vote that you put, the cross that you put in the ballot box, 
doesn't really matter because actually it's the powers that be. It is that elite group that decide who comes into power. It's not even so much about Trump or any of them. It's about that elite group who actually ultimately control it. And this guy is just like... Well, he's a strong man to have taken it on. My goodness. My candle's just gone out as I said that. I better relight another one because that's symbolic in itself. Someone's tried to snuff out the light. And you can take sides and you can say, oh yes, you know, so-and-so is off the light and the other person isn't. It'll all, it'll all become very obvious, ultimately. Let's light an orange candle. Let's ask Metatron's light to come into this situation because God knows it needs it. I'm going to pull three final cards on Robert Muller. He must be heavily protected, this guy. Does he work for them? I don't think so. Is he one of the good guys? I think so. Yeah, he's one of the good guys. Sorry, I'm using a pendulum. Robert Muller's energy. That's a yes. A yes in terms of fighting for light. Let's just see Putin's energy. Putin's energy. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. It started off as a no and it's become a yes. And I'll tell you what that is, that's Metatron. Because Metatron is like the dark, I'm not saying Putin is, is dark, but the point is dark and light, they do a dance together the whole time. Um, we live on a planet of duality. Both energies are needed. You're gonna want me to do Trump, so I'll do it, but I'm not trying to prove anything here by a pendulum. It's just a pendulum. It's just one tool. Um, show me Trump's energy. Okay, I <laughs> wish I hadn't done that now. Ah, uh, what I was hearing when I was when that was happening was I swings both ways, not sexually. What, where the money is, swings both ways. Swings where the money is. Sorry, Robert Muller. Let's have three final cards for him. Pull them so you can see what I'm doing. Three final cards for Mola. Three final cards for Mola. Endings again, three of swords. He's going to bring something to an end. The chariot. <laughs> and actually I'm going to take the card on the bottom of the deck look at that, the king of swords justice will prevail the one underneath the king of swords is the sun the sun will come back out um, this guy will not stop until he has uncovered every single last bit of truth and brought it to a close and it's going to be painful. It's going to be painful. Um, I'm hearing it's a slow death. 
That's not a physical death of anybody. I'm talking about a slow death in terms of find it, the findings. That's what I was talking about earlier. It's like he's steady. He's um, the chariot. He's moving forward with the investigation, but it will be it will happen in his way at his time. Um, he's the king of swords. Be quite ruthless if he has to be. And he will wield the sword of truth. The sword of Damocles is dangling over a few people's heads at the moment. And this is the guy who ultimately has that in his hand and he will deliver justice. And quite frankly, whatever that is, whatever the truth is, the truth is going to be the truth. <laughs> Unfortunately, we live in an age where even when the truth is presented, black and white in some people's face, faces, they still won't accept it as truth. But it will be, and it will be about, you're going to have to feel into it. When the results come out and these truths are exposed, you're going to have to feel into it. Does it feel true to me? But he's the best man for the job. So, I think it'd be quite nice to end with... So many bits of equipment around me. I'm going to end with the piece spray. So I think we all need it after that. <sighs> Sapphire piece. And what I would like us to do is to send peace to all of the parties involved. Peace to the investigation. Peace to Robert Mueller. Peace to Donald Trump. Peace to Vladimir Putin, peace to the world, and ultimately for the highest outcome for all to be exposed. That's what we should all want. I've just read it today on today's energy, and you've seen the way that I've done it and the way the cards have come out. Of course, feel free to disagree with that, but it's what I was asked to do by spirit, so I've had a look at it. Remember what started all of this is he's a 33 master number and um, he feels like one of the good guys to me. Much love. Interesting, wasn't it? We'll see what the next video is and where it takes us. Much love. Bye.